Hello, what's up guys, welcome back in another tutorial, today I'm gonna show you how to mix a track. But wait. What is that voice? Oh that's better. Sorry guys for that setback. Now let's start with the tutorial. Here is a little thing I did, we'll improve it after. Yay, noise mood. As you may have heard, everything sound messy, and very bad mixed. We'll fix that. I already put everything into the mixer track. We just have to adjust everything. Okay, let's start with the kick. Okay so, we'll start by adding an EQ. Basically the kick uses every frequencies in it. But we'll boost the high, because it gives more punch. And be careful that the sound doesn't go over 0.00 dB. Now we'll adjust the claps. Before selecting them, put them at the same volume. For that select the clap that is lower than the others and increase its volume using fruity balance. Now they are one and the same, it's good. So you select all of them and you place it into a single track. In that single track you be careful that the sound doesn't go over 0.00 dB. Now open an equalizer. Remove all the low frequencies because the claps don't use them. And boost the mid and the very high. So they are more powerful. And again you be careful that the claps don't go over 0.00 dB. Turn the volume down if it's the case. For the hi-hat loop you don't have to equalize it, just be careful that the sound doesn't go over 0.00 dB. It's the same for the FX's. Here is the complete loop with the drums. You can notice that we hear all the sounds clearly. Just at a side chain to the FX is to free the sound of the kick. After that we'll mix the lead and the bass. Okay so let's mix the lead first. Here are all the sounds used. Now the process is pretty simple. For every sound I will equalize, by removing all the low frequencies and boost the mid and high. I'll remove bad frequencies. And I'll adjust the volume, so they are not over 0.00 dB. Here is what it sounds like once it's done. Put the leads in a single track and turn the volume down, so it doesn't go over 0.00 dB. Add an EQ with which you boost the mid and the high frequencies.
quite a bit of reverb, not too much. Add a side chain to free the kick. The best place for the side chain is not at the top of the list like I did, but at the bottom, so every effect is side chained. And finally add a stereo enhancer to make the sound wider. Okay we are done with the lead. Let's mix the bass now. Start by adjusting their sound, they have to be at the same level. Now you add an EQ. In the EQ you remove the low ends, you boost the bass, and you remove the high ends. You do the same for that bass. And for that one too, but you boost the low ends. Now, as always, you put them at the same volume. and you group them into a single mixer track. Add a new EQ, boost the low ends and remove the high ends. Add a reverb with not too much wet. and a side chain. Be careful that the sound doesn't go over 0.00 dB. Now go in the master channel. Add a fruity limiter and turn the ceiling knob to 3.00 dB. Don't go over that value, otherwise your song will distort. Be careful that your song is not over that value before putting the limiter, otherwise that will sound compressed. The visualizer bar doesn't have to go over 0.00 dB, the ceiling is just there to prevent any form of distortion. So yay, that's how you mix and master a song. Let's hear the song before and after the process.
I hope you learned something new today. I'll try to make some more in the future. Anyways thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.